Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network, their um, intrepid reporter, the peripatetic Ian Rappaport joining us, the uh, NFL media insider. You can follow him on Twitter and uh, also NFL Game Day morning, Saturday at noon Eastern and uh, Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Ian joins us now. All right, rank the job openings in order of talent. So the four that are open, talent-wise, what you have when you go there, where would you start? Uh, I would start in Detroit. You know, the, the number one thing you look for is a quarterback. You got Matt Stafford, who has tons of talent. You're going to have someone. You know, you need someone to work with him. You obviously you got to hire some sort of quarterback guy, either a, you know a coach or some sort of dynamic coordinator. Um, but you got what you have up front there. Um, I think that's you know that that's obviously a job that is coveted. Um, you know, I think uh, the Browns aren't bad. Um, they have talent, a lot of talent on defense, certainly in the offensive line. They just need a quarterback. Um, you know, Vikings probably, you know, obviously they got some young talent. Um, on defense, they have, you know, receivers. It's just, you know, part of the problem is when you don't have a quarterback, it's tough to, you know, it's tough to really, uh, it's tough to, to really say you got a lot of talent. I mean, obviously the Redskins, they really don't have it. They have a, lot, they have a talented quarterback and not much else. Um, tough to rank when you have a quarterback and, and a lot of holes. but And no first-round draft pick, at least in Detroit. Yeah. I, I have Matthew Stafford, who has put up great numbers before. I think he got, you know, they gave him a little bit too much freedom there. Cleveland, I don't know what I have, but I have a couple of first-round draft picks again. Right. So, you know, if I look at uh, those opportunities, um, you know, I, was try- I, I said Detroit's low-hanging fruit. I, I think that's a playoff team, but... Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think that they should be there. I think Tampa is a playoff team as well. Uh, so, and Bill O'Brien going to the Texans. You got the number one pick. Do you think they use that on uh, a quarterback? Yeah, I, I, I think they. I think they will. I think they should. Um, you know, the the number one thing about Bill O'Brien is he's a quarterback guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, there's there's the great scene that we've all seen a million times. Speaking of Sunday Night Football, um, of Bill O'Brien getting in Tom Brady's face in Pittsburgh, just going off and screaming at him. And I think it, a lot of people open their eyes like, <clears throat> like this is a guy who's yelling at Tom Brady, but that's what Bill O'Brien is like. He's, he's a hardcore coach. He's a teacher, and everything focuses on the quarterback position. I think they'll draft one. Um, I think if Jay Culler's a free agent, they could look at him too, though. I heard there's some interest there. Mm. Um, but, I mean, we know you, know you can look at the teams that are in the playoffs. You can look at the teams that sucked. If you don't have a quarterback, <laughs> you can't really do very much. Yeah. Uh, I agree. Uh, I don't know if that's the technical way to say that, but I but I agree yeah, with I mean, you I on that. Yeah. <laughs> the um, but but if you're looking at these four jobs, like who's in play for these jobs? Well, what was interesting to me was you know Tom Wan, the Lions president, said pretty specifically, we think we have the most attractive opening, and they wanted Lovey Smith very badly, and in the end, they couldn't even get him to interview, um, mm. and so what you saw was. You know, the two top candidates, Bill O'Brien, Lovey Smith, off the board really fast. Two quick, targeted, uh, you know, sort of dynamic searches. Um, and then, you know, Ken Wisenon is a guy who, who I think will get a job from what I'm hearing. Um, I think Detroit will take a really hard look at him. But, you know, otherwise you got, you got Jay Gruden. Um, you know, I hear, you know, Minnesota's interested. And they're going to they're gonna bring in a bunch of guys. Daryl Bevel, Dan Quinn, two Seahawks coordinators. Sean McDermott, the guy who, you know, engineered the Panthers defense, that really nasty Panthers defense, he's going to be in the mix at a bunch of places. But, you know, unlike last year, there's just not a a guy who stands out and says, all right, you must, you know, you must hire this guy. There's just maybe someone will emerge, but at this point, there's probably more openings than there are surefire candidates. Before I let you go, biggest NFL question about Johnny Manziel is going to be what? Uh, can he stay healthy? You know, if you hit him 20 times a game, can he stay healthy? I mean, there's the off the field questions, but let's be real. I mean, he's not going to be the first NFL player who likes to go out and have a good time. And he probably won't be the last. And we can all pretend that this is, you know, a huge red flag. Like coaches will make their peace with it. I mean, they just will. It's really, if he gets hit a lot, is he going to be, you know, is he going to be Michael Vick of the last two years? Is he going to be limping off the field every play? That's the issue. Ian, thanks for joining us. Uh, Tell our good friend Rich Eisen we said hello. All right, Dan. Sounds good. Will do.
All right, Ian Rappaport, uh, his Twitter handle is at uh, RapSheet, and you can see him on NFL Network, NFL Game Day Mornings. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.